Good morning, everyone. As you can see, your do now is on the board. We're gonna take a few minutes to, maybe two minutes, to write down two items that we remember from yesterday's lesson. That's gonna be like a warm up or a, a, a quick practice for what we did yesterday. Once we finish with the do now, then we're going to, I'm gonna break you up into three groups, okay? We're gonna have our blue group, our red group, and our yellow group. I'm going to be working with the group today that um, did, was not successful on yesterday's quiz. So um, for now, I'm gonna set the clock, work for two minutes, and then I'll tell you more um, information about where we're gonna go. Before you proceed, let me just give you an overview. The standard for today is what were the causes of World War I? The causes of World War I. Just a quick review. Can somebody over here tell me one of the, the four causes from the acronym that I gave you yesterday um, of the war? Good, M for Maine, very good. Um, M, but what did M stand for? Militarism, very good. Can somebody recall what the other acronym was in Maine? Give me A, A, good. A stood for what? Alliances. Excellent, excellent. Can someone else remember in the acronym Maine what the word the letter stood for? Very good. I for imperialism. Can somebody define for me what imperialism is? Very good, excellent, excellent. All right, and the last, um, in the acronym of the main, the N, right, very good, N. N stood for what? Nationalism. Excellent, excellent job, guys. What we're gonna do, um, like I said, I'm gonna give you your two minutes to do your, your do now, and it deals with the information that I gave to you yesterday, and then we're gonna break up, and I'm gonna work, um, give each group their assignments, and I'll be working with the group that did not do well on the quiz yesterday. Go, I'm starting the clock now. You have two minutes. Just a reminder, you're writing down just two quick items that you learned from yesterday's lesson. You are allowed to use our quick morning review. you remember from yesterday and we're going to put those together All right. we got one more minute and then we're going to get started Okay, time's up. Let's do a quick um, go around the room and I wanna hear some of your ideas. So 
Um, make sure the people on this side can hear you on this side and the people on this side can hear you on this side, all right? Everybody's gonna get an opportunity to go. We're gonna start like we usually do in the back today. I know I, 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 know I usually allow you to pick numbers, but today you're gonna go um, around in a circle. Start telling the class two facts that you wrote down from yesterday's lesson. Uh, next. So what we're going to do is we're going to go counterclockwise and everybody is going to give two facts about what they learned from yesterday's lesson. Very good. A good start. Go. You're, you're it. And then you're going to pass the ball. Good. Very good. And what your question, what did you think of that? What did you think of the idea of taking colonies for their natural resources? What's your opinion on that? Oh, okay. Good. He brought up that a lot of the nations began to stockpile um, military weapons and they began befriending each other in case there was a war. But why, why, why would people be afraid that there's a war going on? Why would someone be afraid that a war might, you know, eventually happen? So you don't understand what alliances are. Okay, so let me, let me break it down because we have a question over here. Someone doesn't understand what alliances are. Alliances, um, how many of us have friends? Okay, friends that would have our back if something went bad. Okay, let's say you're actually, you're going out and you're getting in line for the bus tomorrow and somebody starts making fun of your shoes. That hurts you, okay? And you're not a fighter, you're not somebody that speaks up. That's probably gonna hurt you. So what you would do in a situation is probably go tell someone. And if you have friends that would have your back, they'd probably speak up on your behalf, right? Well, that's an alliance. You've just formed an alliance with your friends that they would have your back in case someone else bothers you. Do we have any more other questions? That's a good question. Okay, looking at the clock, now we're gonna break up into our groups. Now, this is what we're gonna do. The, um, the group, the, the green group will be working on vocabulary. In vocabulary, I put up some assignments. You're gonna be watching the video. Um, you're gonna take out your Chromebook, watch the video, and along with that video, I've also put up some of those um, you're going to be doing the vocabulary, you're going to be doing the read and respond, and you're also going to, at the end, take a, a formative, a formative quiz, all right? It's not going to count. I just want to know how well um, you were able to grasp the information from the video. Okay, the advanced group, you guys, you ace the quiz, and you can actually go on to the, the next substandard in your information in your syllabus, okay? Um, you can use your online textbook, you can use your hardcover textbook, or you can use additional resources um, for the assignments that are there. And I'm gonna be over here working with the red group, as I said at the beginning, the group of students that didn't do well. When the clock is up, after working with them for about 20 minutes, okay, working on your respective assignments, then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna do a, um, an exit ticket with you all, okay? All righty, let's get started. Break up into your groups. Okay, now it's time for us to take out our exit tickets that I put on your desk when you walk into the room. And I want you, for those people we started, remember we started off the class with the agenda, we started off with the do now activity where we had to 
jot down what we learned. Jot down two things you've learned from today's lesson.